Maybe I just suck. Maybe it really isn't good enough. Maybe I'm just not good enough. I don't really know why I'm making this video. We're in a very tumultuous time in the band and in the studio and trying to really make things work and make sure we can still exist. We're in an interesting place where we've never had more momentum and listeners, but yet no one with, I guess, financial power or anything wants to say yes to us. Everyone has said no. Yeah, and I basically find myself um, in immense band debt and being broke and all of us trying to figure out how to exist in the next few months, even though we have tours that we're planning out for like September, October, um, new songs, music videos, all these things. And I have found myself multiple times, I mean, especially over the last few years, obviously just wanting to call it, you know, move back to Indiana. You know, it was, it was, it, it was what it was. And I could at least be proud of it even though if we didn't make it where we wanted to go and we couldn't necessarily make a livelihood off of it. But the last couple weeks, it's been very um, close to giving up. You know, I, I, you go to sleep with, you have like almost like a buzz on your chest. Like it almost feels like a weighted buzz that's on your chest. You can't get to sleep till four in the morning. You know, you get migraines and headaches. You you know, if you already have injuries, they just feel like they get worse. You feel like you can't move like in the morning at all. Like it's a really wild thing that like stress and anxiety can do to your body physically. It's really interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen the next few months for us. I don't know if we're going to be able to exist. I know that what we're releasing is very good. And I know that we're going to go as hard as we can. But I guess what I really wanted to make this video for is... For all the people out there who are chasing something, you feel like you have this unattainable dream, vision. I don't know. I just hope this video can encourage you. I'm at one of my lowest points, but I just, I refuse to let them win. <laughs> and I just want you to know that I see you and that, you know, I have a new line in our new song that is so desperate to find these poets in motion. And what I mean by that is, those who are just like the dreamers, the, the visionary, the one who is unafraid to test the water and push forward and is just fearless in their approach, no matter how many times they fail and no matter, no matter how many times they just eat shit. And if you're watching this and that's you, or if that's not you, but you are just facing some serious bullshit in your life and some serious resistance, some serious darkness, we are not giving in. It seems like when you can't see anything on the horizon, you're left to kind of wander and hope that the effort that you put in generates some form of opportunity, some form of light, some form of, <laughs> you know, of the dawn that allows you to see in front of you. So that way you can at least see where you're taking your next step. But so often that's not the case. And I just want you to know that I really believe in us. I know that sounds cheesy because we don't know each other at all. And I don't really know why I have this YouTube channel. I don't know why I have as many subscribers as I do. But I'm like, if I'm going to use the channel for anything, I at least want the message of our music to remain, even if we no longer exist. I want there to be something that is here or maybe a collection of videos that are here that can at least years from now, someone comes back to it and it gives them hope. We're just not the type of people to give in. It's exhausting and man, sometimes you really just feel like the world really is stacked against you. <laughs> and you think to yourself, you know, how am I gonna pay this off? How am I gonna create this opportunity? How am I gonna open these doors? How are we possibly going to reach these people how much time do we have left? And then comes the reality of you end up thinking that maybe you threw away a lot of your life. I'm to the age now where like I'm starting to see friends who were like having kids. You, you, you honestly start to think to yourself, have I thrown away the opportunity to just live a content, happy life? And those are realities. You know, I've had people tell me, you know, you're living your dream. You're, and I'm like, I'm not because I'm not. We're, 
it's not living the dream until you're living off your dream successfully. <laughs> you know, not trying to scrounge money together every single month to make sure you can survive off your dream. It's just the reality. Those are honest thoughts that actually go through your head when you're chasing something down and you're trying to create something that does not exist yet. And y'all know I'm always just like honest. Like I just want to be honest with you about this journey. And for anyone that's watching this, I want you to know that you're going to feel that way. I want you to know that you're going to question if you're throwing away life experiences that you wish you could have had while trying to attain a dream that ends up not happening. You're going to have those thoughts. You are going to go to bed with a stress on your chest that feels like static and your mind is going to haunt you all night. You're going to think of a checklist of a hundred things that you have to do. It's going to make you panic. You're going to get anxiety. You are going to crumble at some point and you might crumble a few times <laughs> like some of us have experienced. You are going to feel the most immense shame and disappointment and sometimes view yourself in such a vile and unhealthy way. You're going to be broken. You're going to cry. Sometimes you're going to bleed. <laughs> and you're going to watch these stories of other people who have made it through. And you are going to question if that's even real. If their story is real. You're going to question if it is just luck or coincidence. You're going to wonder, maybe I just suck. Maybe it really isn't good enough. Maybe I'm just not good enough. You're going to miss out on a lot of life. And you are going to be haunted by whether or not it was worth it. As I can speak personally, because we haven't made it yet. You're going to feel lost in your own mind. And as if the world does not exist around you. And you are going to feel like you fight every day to try and be present to try and do daily things, to try and stay healthy, to try to take care of yourself, to try and stay disciplined because it's all that you have. And I'm going to let you know, do those things. Eat healthy, work out, drink water, take care of yourself, go outside. Those simple things are the only things that you, in many ways on this journey, are going to have control over and it is the only thing that will keep you sane <laughs> trust me so do that if you're watching this do those simple things you will be surprised at how much it serves you and helps you push forward you are going to come to a place where you want to die where you just don't want to exist anymore where you're just tired and you're just exhausted and you just want to lay down and close your eyes and just never want to wake up again. You're going to feel like nothing you do matters to anyone. Even if you have, whether it's fans or whatever it is you're chasing it after, support. For some reason, there is a darkness that just makes you feel as though none of it matters. You are going to lose relationships. You're going to lose money. <laughs> You're probably going to not be where you want to be. You're probably not going to live where you want to live. You're probably going to have to do a lot of low maintenance things. And what I mean by that is you might have to do your laundry out of a bucket in the backyard because you don't have any money. You're going to fail. You're going to eat shit. You are going to get massive amounts of hype from higher ups who offer opportunity and it looks so real and the moment that it is all supposed to be confirmed you will be met with silence and nothing will happen and you will be left to pick up the pieces and find something else and create another opportunity that is going to happen to you over and over and over and over again you are going to want to sit in darkness for hours you're going to want to be secluded you're going to feel somewhat imprisoned to your dream and you will be terrified and you're going to get to the point where you just do not understand why no one is saying yes but do not give in and I say that 
as someone who is literally barely keeping their head above water, as someone whose dream band is on life support, because you are going to feel like you have all these great things to put out and all these great things that have been created, but for some reason, you just can't get anyone to see how quality it is. You're going to have these things that you have that you've created that are great and you know they're going to land well, but there's going to be a time frame between when you can get those out and having to survive and feeling like no one gives a shit. And you're not going to understand why no one cares about the things that you have made. You're going to feel rejection. You're going to feel loneliness. You're going to feel anger. You're going to be depressed. You're going to feel like you're always out of breath, but you do not give in. Our whole idea of love over fear, like our band saying, it's not just like a cute saying that we use. It's a real thing. Love over fear is a choice. You choose to chase after the love you have for the people that support you over the constant daily minute by minute fear that follows you on your path while you chase down this dream. When we say it must always end in hope, it's not just for the listener. I'm literally saying it for me to try and remind myself to keep moving forward, to keep going. We never give in. We were built for this shit and we will keep taking all of our failures and all of our no's, all of our rejections, and we will keep pushing forward. This video is for the dreamers, and we're with you as one. I love you.